South Korean indie film House of Hummingbird has tugged at the heartstrings of global audience ever since it premiered in Busan International Film Festival last year. The coming-of-age film won 27 awards globally, including a Grand Prix for Best Feature Film at the 69th Berlin Film Festival's Generation 14 Plus. House of Hummingbird is set in Seoul in 1994 in the time of fast economic growth. In the eyes of 14-year-old Eunhee, played by actress Park Ji-ho, grown-ups are odd creature full of strange demands. At school, children are taught grades and economic hierarchy are superior to love, trust, and communication with others. Uni is born to low-income parents who strictly follow the patriarchal order. Her grades stay low because she excels herself every day at her parents' humble confectionery store. Her brother, on the other hand, is given enough time to study. When her brother beats her, her parents call both guilty without much thought. Friend and boyfriend are not so dependable either. Uni's best friend bails on her in her most vulnerable moment. Her boyfriend even cheats on her. Uni seeks emotional shelter from same-sex relationship, but that isn't so successful. Heartbroken Unhee finally turns to Yongji, a tutor from her Chinese character lesson. This enigmatic woman is the only grown-up who treats Unhee as her equal. Through Yongji, Unhee puts up courage to pull lessons from her wounds. With Yongji as a mentor and shelter, Unhee learns to love herself and speak herself. With Yongji, Uni regains strength and dream to go on. But this precious sisterhood does not last long. The social vice, triggered by fast growth and lost humanities, leads to a breakdown of Songsu Bridge like the fall of a Babylon. The fall of Songsu Bridge kills 32 commuters, including Yongji. Now Uni has to stand alone without Yongji. The 140-minute running time is enriched by delicately organized details, owing much to the personal childhood experience of film director and writer Kim Bora. The title House of Hummingbird derives from the fact that a hummingbird flaps its wings 90 times per second to gather honey from far away. As vulnerable and unnoticed as a hummingbird, the 14-year-old heroine never stops her journey to win love and attention from others. House of Hummingbird has much to offer. The time setting of 1994 provides a highly graphic stage for industrialization. Check out how minuscule her household looks in the urban wood of identical apartment buildings. These apartments are iconic of Seoul in 1994. The time setting is a strong tool to evoke nostalgia from the audience. Beepers, cassette tapes, and hidden disco places add warm ambience even to the most materialistic characters. Even Uni's cheating boyfriend is absolved in the name of naive adolescence beautifully portrayed throughout the film. The fall of Songsu Bridge is another powerful emotional tool in this film. The real incident plunged the whole nation into despair because it showed significant cracks of then highly promoted fast growth followed by similar incidents such as the fall of Sampung department store and the outbreak of the Asian financial crisis in 1996. Feminism is definitely a big part of Uni's journey to maturity. Uni's mother gave birth to Uni and raised her under her roof, and yet forces the little girl to obey the old customs of her generation. This mother-daughter relationship is replaced by a new one as Youngji enters Uni's life. Youngji has her own experience of feeling helpless when she defies social injustice. Youngji passes down her wisdom to gain independence to the next generation even after her death. Thanks to its message of love, hope, and ode to the humanities, House of Hummingbird drew over 100,000 viewers since local lunch on August 29, 2019. The film was sold in seven countries, the United States, Canada, Japan, Singapore, Turkey, Sweden, and Taiwan. 
Singapore was the first of those countries to screen the film on September 29th.